I'm Dave Moore from Choice Training. Today I'll be showing you how to solder 15mm copper into a 15mm elbow. Usually on site we wouldn't use a vise, but just for a demonstration purpose I will be using this vise today. Uh, first thing you want to do, on, generally you'll be working with 3 meter lengths of copper. You want a pipe slice to cut your copper to the size that you need. Pipe slices are very easy to use, there's an arrow or direction of use. You simply push your copper into the slice and follow the arrow of direction until it cuts through. Once that's cut through, you're left with a nice clean cut around the edge of the copper. You then want to take your wire wall, wrap it around the copper only a few centimetres down, otherwise you're wasting your time on the cleaning. You just want to give it a few spins so that the edge of your copper comes out nice and shiny. It makes the soldering process a lot easier. You then want to do the same thing on your other end of copper that will be going into the fitting. So after a few spins, it's a lot cleaner, makes it easier. The next thing you want to use is flux. Uh, the flux aids the solder to run into the fitting. You want to try and avoid getting this onto your clothing as it is corrosive and it will stain your clothing. You want a little dollop onto your brush and then you will apply about a centimetre or the width of the brush all the way around the copper uh, tube that will be going into the fitting. Once you've done your first bit, you will then do the exact same thing but on your second piece of pipe. So again just a centimetre or about the width of the brush is more than enough. Once your second piece is done you will then get your fitting ready. You will then apply just a little dab of flux inside of the fitting as well. Make sure you go all the way around. Once you've done that everything is fluxed and ready. Uh, I'll start off by putting just one piece into the vise to, just to hold it. Don't over tighten so you don't crush the pipe. Then push your fitting onto your pipe, make sure it goes all the way in. Push in your second piece, make sure it's all the way in. Once everything's in, you'll be ready to solder. Uh, we'll be using a blow lamp. There's a few ways that you can use your blow lamp, depending on which hand you prefer to use. If you want your temperature on a medium to low heat, uh, there is a button on the top to keep the flame on. Uh, how you use the blow lamp is sort of personal preference. Uh, I like to use mine in my left hand like that. Uh, for the solder, I'm using the lead-free solder to make sure that I can solder on wholesome water. Um, I like to extend it a little bit and add a little hook on the end. That means that I can aim my solder where I need to put it really. Once everything is ready, got your solder and your blow lamp, you can begin applying your heat. If I turned it on, there we go. After about 10 seconds of heating, you should see a colour change in the flame here. It should turn to a sort of greenish colour. Once that happens, it means the flux is being burnt off and it is ready to solder. So it's just starting to change there. Apply your solder. Holding for about three seconds will be good enough. If you need to, apply a little dab more heat and apply a touch more solder. Once everything's done, you should be able to see a nice silver lining all the way around the pipe. If you can see that lining, 99% of the time it should be a watertight seal.